So this is the Mainline M3 Mini GPS by computer. Let's check it out. What's up everybody? Welcome to Drone Mania. Disclaimer my friends, this video is not a sponsored video, nor did I receive this product to do a review on it. This is 100% purchased on my dollar. You can guarantee my friends, you will receive utmost honest opinion and review of this product. So I purchased this product from AliExpress for about $18. Let's unbox it and check it out and then we're going to go outside. So let's just dive into the unboxing and then the fun starts my friends. Okay my friends, so I purchased this product specifically to test out the speedometer rating on the RC cars and basically anything else that it might work with. If it will work on drones, no idea. On cars, from what I know, it works flawlessly. From what I know, it's very accurate. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out. So this is unboxing it. This is how it looks. I really want to see how fast certain cars are going. And I think this might be the one product to check it out. So hopefully everything will work out good and it will be a good product. Like I said, I purchased it for $18, which is not such a bad price. So we put those things aside. Before we get to the product itself, we're going to see what comes inside the box. So we're getting a bunch of these kind of uh, circular rubber uh, thingamajigger bands, if you want to call them. I don't know what they are, as you can see. We'll find out eventually. You get this, uh, from what I'm seeing, it's a uh, clip-on. So it clips onto this and, ah, okay, I got it. So this goes like so to clip on the bike because this is originally for bikes like I said in the beginning of the video but we're going to be using it for testing out speeds of uh, RC cars because that's more funner <laughs> so this is the charging cable wow this is a really long charging cable oh my god pretty long cool it's uh micro to usb so it's a uh, pretty much like an old-fashioned style but of course this is not a new product of 2022 this is probably from many years back but it's very much used i've uh, heard so this is the whole booklet of the manual it's all in english oh okay it's in different languages you have it in Dutch, you have it in English, you have it in uh, Espanol, if that's what you want. And I think you probably have it in Chinese or something too, naturally. So that's pretty much it. And then you have the product itself. There it is right there, as you can see. Very straightforward, nothing crazy here. So that's good, you know, that's what we want, something straightforward. Let's see what it has here. Here on the top, you have your power button here from what I'm seeing from the icon looks like the menu button could be wrong. Here you have a silicone sealed port to get into the micro. So that's really good. It could be waterproof. So that's really interesting. And then you have like some sort of a wrench icon right there which probably helps you for resetting or something, I'm guessing. Obviously, we'll know what it is when we're going to go test it out in the field. That's how I prefer it. So that's pretty much it for that. Let's just power it on and see. So I've never seen this powered on, so you guys are going to be the first one seeing it. Hopefully, it's powered on. And... Okay, there it is. Yeah, powered on. So it basically looks like it might need a charge or something or to be set. Yeah, so on. You see, so different presses, I think, gives you like different functions. 
Yeah. Kilometers, blah, blah, blah. So that's like the main screen. So that's basically it for the unboxing. Like I said, or I don't remember if I said it, but basically it's a real fast unboxing. So let's just dive into the field and check it out. Okay, my friends. So now we're ready to test out the Maylan Mini GPS speedometer to see how well it works. We're in a perfect spot, as you can probably see. Okay, enough room to really test it out. And with the subject we will be using today to test this bad boy out, Arma Typhon V36S. If you would like to check out the previous video of me getting this and some things I'm talking about, why I'm purchased a used one and not a new one, you can check for the card up there and hit that link so you'll be able to go straight to the previous video of this. So we're ready. Let's uh, set this up real quick and jump into it. Very simple how to use this, by the way. I'll show you real quick. So there is something that needs to be done before you can go ahead and slap it on and start with your testing speeds. What you must do first is power it on, obviously. And it's powered on. And now we have to wait for this light. I hope you can see right there, it's a flashing green light. You will know that it has stopped when it turns solid green. And this indicates right now that it's searching for GPS, as this is a GPS system. That's how it tells the speedometer of uh, what its accuracy and, and how fast it's going, etc. So we have to wait till that uh, gives us a solid color and that can take up to two minutes so let's just wait patiently and we'll know There it is. I hope you guys heard that little beep and you can see that the color has become solid green. So now it is ready, registered, fired up. If we press these two buttons at the same time, it'll give us uh, back blue lights, background blue lights. And if we press them again, it'll turn it off, but that's for nighttime use. So unfortunately I don't have something to hold it because I forgot. So I will be using my girlfriend's elastic hair holder, whatever you call it. Ponytail. Ponytail, whatever. Okay, let's see if it has registered anything to do that. We press here now. Okay, so the first time trying, my friends, it didn't go so well. I have no idea why. So I tried it again but off camera and I saw it was working and I was impressed with the numbers. So now I know what's up. So I'm going to do it again to show my peeps how it looks and how it is. I'm going to do it again so everybody can see. So let's do that. Damn! 
damn, that was a crash. It was a major crash, my friends, but I'm lucky nothing broke off. But something is missing. So anyways, <laughs> when I was driving and I stopped it, how it's not connected so well held properly, so it flew off and I didn't know. And some nice gentleman over there was calling me, hey, come here, your thing. But my head was stuck on the fact that I smacked the into the curb. So that was very nice of him. But anyways, here it is. Let's see if uh, whatever I got worked. Whoa, there's some scratch right there. A major dent in there. Wow, let's see. 20, 69.6 kilometers. Wow. So it does work. The average speed was 20.3 kilometers an hour. And the max was 69.6 kilometers an hour. <clears throat> This is with a 4S, my friends. I reached 69.6. Now, I want to do it again, but I'm scared that thing is going to flip right off again. But well, let's try one more time and see how well that goes. So we're going to go back to our spot there and check it out. Okay, let's Okay, let's see my friends what speeds we got. This time my girl held it the proper way it should be. And let's get ready to rumble. 26 is average. Let's see. Oh, the max. I was so excited. 69.6. What was the last one? 69. 63. No, it was 63, No, it was 69. Uh, Point 0.5, I think. Also 69? I don't remember what the last one was, my friend, but I remember it was something 69 point something. So I don't know if we beat it by an extra decimal or something. But anyways, so that's the max speed I received in this area with the Typhon 6S on a 4S batteries. 69.6. I think that was pretty freaking fast. And I was crashing it too, man. Really terrible on my part. I hope I didn't screw up the dips. So the average was 26 and the max was 69.6. So my friends, that's pretty much it for this video. It was just to test out the mainland mini GPS system, the speedometer system. You know, this is used also for bikes and everything. I'm going to leave a link in the description if anybody's interested in this. I like it. I think it's pretty good. It can hold some beating, although it does leave uh, some uh, battle marks naturally. But overall, it, I think it's uh, pretty good. I'm going to be taking this with me regularly and trying.
trying it out also on the Arma Creighton 6S, which is a lot more heavier, right, than the Typhon. So let's see how well this will do on that and what speeds it will give me on that with a 4S. So remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll be updated and you'll get the freshest videos on hand. Till next time, remember to be safe, take care, have fun, and peace out, people. Bam!